Welcome back to another installment of the corner where we talk all things music. I go by the name of Keenan. We got Johnny and Derry back in the building. And on uh this installment of the corner, we'll be reviewing Jordan Lucas. Oh, hold on, my bad. Hold on. Shit. Not now. I'm busy. You forgot? Yeah. Okay. Damn, I remember my first beer. And Derry, why we start with me? Because you remember your first beer. You remember what you thought about it. All right. I don't want to trash this album. So I'm not. I thought it was damn good. See, I might say, like, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I would go. Let me get my rating first. Because it was tough. I think I'm leaning towards eight and a half. Okay. Eight and a half. Okay. And I'm going to say, not a huge fan of, you know, the Hour albums. Yeah. But this thing was good. I'm going to say it was probably good front to back. Yeah. Uh, Put me on. Okay. Nice opening. Uh, Get Down to Broski. That's the one we reviewed before. So I was like, oh, I know this song. Yeah. Really good. I like the way his, his uh like, uh the storytelling of that song a little bit. It kind of reminds me of Stan. The Eminem song. Uh, Fake Promise is good. Cut You Off is good. Uh, what was like... Another one I thought that really stood out to me was Three Little Pigs. Yeah. That's, I, I like the way he was, told that. Even though, I'm like, okay, story. I know what you're talking about. He's talking about how the wolves are black so they just get like a bad rap and shit. Yeah. Three Little Pigs and Water Guns. Uh, what was one that really stood out to me again? How Much Do You Love Me? Man, I'm yeah, that was probably one of the tougher ones for me. Uh, there was some wrong here though. Number two, I didn't, bro. I didn't go to one with Simba and DMX. I thought it was good. Damn good. When did he record this? Because I, I remember on one of the tracks he said, "I'm trying to win a Grammy like Killer Mike," and that just happened recently. Well, th- I mean, that mean the X verse might be old, and Joyner just put it on there. No, nah, I don't. I don't know if he said it on that song, but I heard. I remember him saying it on this album. So I was thinking, like, man, when did he record this album? Oh, he could have. You know, they could have. He could have just got done with a Wednesday night shit. Okay. Well, it music is different now. Yeah, it, yeah ain't, okay. it ain't no getting it pressed up and sending it here. Like, every time Kanye drops an album, he'll take it down and change it like four or five times. Another one of my favorites was uh, Best For Me, the one with Jelly Roll, and that's talking about addiction. Oh, yeah. And he oh, said, yeah. I, uh, you know, people using it, people say, like, addiction's a, a disease, and you using this shit a little too hard for me or whatever. Mm-hmm. And dude was like, if addiction ain't disease, then why is it pretty much fucking with me? But I like Jelly Roll too, though. I think he he sounded real good on there. And then Sticks and Stones with Conway the Machine. That was another one of my favorites. That was one that uh, it stood out. Well, yeah, because I thought Conway was really nice on there. But we then we review a Conway album. Yeah, Conway. Conway yeah, Conway's Conway's dope. But all in all, like front to back, I thought this thing was damn good. It was really fucking good. Some of them, uh, I don't I don't prefer when he's rapping really fast. Yeah, but. Uh, what was the other one? Oh, still all right with Logic and Twister. Yeah, I don't. It's tough. All of them was good. The one cut cut you off with NBA Young Boy was good as hell. The NBA Young Boy came tight on that. It wasn't bad. Like everything sounded good, man. Yeah, this was really. It was. It was good. The only one that was that wasn't my favorite. At all was probably the last one. Not now. I'm like, busy talking about. I'm, I killed myself and all that. It just. It just was like was oh, you know, like. I was coming down off of uh, the uh, 17, How Much Do You Love Me? It was a good run. The one with Twister, Three Little Pigs. I didn't go with DMX. Then you got to that last one. I was like, ah, that's how you going to end this thing? Yeah. It wasn't really like a crescendo or nothing like that. He could have ended it with the DMX verse. And DMX ended that it. DMX was nice. Yeah, boy. I had to tweet. That shit is nice. <laughs> nigga, man, I said, I said, damn, I miss DMX. I'm like, bro. what vault did they get this out of? I was, that that nigga was good. going, bro. But Dill Mex got that sound where it, it's just like, man, when you it hear that, you be like, foo, 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 like, yeah, it we, I don't know if we in church or we about to kill somebody. Yeah, adrenaline. That's what Jay said. Like, that nigga come out and he'll preach to you. He said a prayer for you. Everybody's been anthem, talking about that. So you got niggas crying. Then you got niggas going crazy to the anthem. Then you take the shirt off and the chick's going crazy. Yeah, like, what do you do with this nigga, man? That, that's how that song, and Symbol was nice on there too, but Simba's the Dill Mex was boy, definitely man. like, Took it to another level. 
I, I, I was like, man, I, I, I wish that we had one more album like that from of DMX. Yeah, like the last couple albums, I don't think he was real. I think he was just kind of like. See, I'm kind of curious how he got that. Like, did he do this a long time ago for you? I don't know. Or was this yeah. something you was like? I reached out to his people and they said he had some shit. Probably. He he was on, but they have a they had a relationship because he was on like one of uh, DMX's last couple of albums. Oh really? So they had some kind of relationship. Huh. So I mean, whatever it was, that's if you if you just reached out and, you get and they that? said we got some stuff, just huh, go through and see what you want. That's a good choice. Damn that's good a choice. Damn good choice. But yeah, eight and a half for me. Uh, I I don't have a bad word to say about it. Yeah, I guess I I'll, I'll go next. You know, switch things up a little bit. Um, I'm I'm gonna just shoot it straight, man. I thought it was like a nine. I I, I the bro, the beats were awesome. The beats were awesome. Uh, I really enjoyed Twister's verse because like, oh, I forgot about. I was I was like. I love that. I was doing something and I was like, I missed the part where he's t- letting us know he's telling the story. He was like, my nigga saw me working at the cars. I said, damn, nigga done ran out of slow jams, chicks. And then he said, you know, we did the, the Pope. We did the Pope Pimp song. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, well, later in the verse, I, I realized, oh, okay. He was talking about when he first got on, got on. But I'm like, that verse was hard, bro. Like, he said, my boy AK called me to come get on the track. And I was like, damn, I got to be at work. I'll be right back. Yeah. I, was like, oh, God, this Look, I like the part in that this song where he's, he uh he was rapping, but it kind of sounded just like the Pope Pimpin' song. It was, it was the verse. Yeah. It, it was, was the verse. It wasn't the same words, though. It was. Was yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, because I'm it like, man, like it, the whole cadence and everything, I was like, oh, that's pretty nice. If they changed the beat, but it sounds just like it. Yeah, it was part of the verse. It was well-crafted, man. Yeah, that was... <laughs> <laughs> Well crafted. That was good. That was good. But like, I, I didn't know I, Twister was was. I think back I did, like I, I didn't know he could storytell like that. I like Twister. I like Twister I do but, too. But like, that was a hell of a story. I start bro. thinking back. Like, was that the first time I heard, I heard Twister and Do or Die? Because I always oh, thought man. he was with he was with Do or Die. I did too. I think everybody did. I don't know if I thought he was with them. I thought. He was oh, I thought for the longest, group. like, oh, he's part of that group. That's I thought group. he was or. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not the same thing. I yeah, like a nine, bro. Like I didn't I didn't I didn't not enjoy anything on here. It was it was just damn good, bro. Damn cute a little Wayne face. You know what I'm saying? Like shit was fire. Like number two, the beat flip on number two, because I'm like, hold on now. Come you on, got some, number two. You got some bullshit going on now. And then the beat drop, I'm like, oh, oh, I'm oh shit, and then kill this shit. And then he get on there, he rapping, rapping. That's my kind of shit, bro. Fake promises. You know, man, it's tough. It, it, all of these was damn good. It was good. When it I think a, about fake promises, that was good as hell, too. Yeah. That was fire, bro. I gave it a nine. I don't know why I didn't give it a 10, honestly. Maybe because it wasn't no horns. I think I'm hating. Man. Nah, I think I'm hating. I think I'm hating. I just think because it wasn't no horns or something like that. Uh, if he had some outcast horns on that motherfucker, bud. I'm gonna go a little bit more than that. Just a little bit more. I gave it an eight and a half. Okay. I thought it was fire. Never really listened to a Joyner Lucas project. I don't even know. If he, I'm sure he got albums. Yes, he does. Never listened to one before. Uh, but I've heard his songs. You know, like when we talked about Brosy, like I heard uh, Will. That was probably one of the first ones I really listened oh, to. Oh, the Will movie. Smith song was yeah, fire. I heard Will probably when it first dropped. And then we put Will on a remix for that song. Yeah. That was like my first, like, really, really beginning listen. Introduction. Let me just add that to my playlist, yeah, the whole album. Uh, <laughs> since then, like, he got a song with Ashanti where it's like a like the most toxic relationship. Oh, where he kissed my baby in the mouth in the they video? Was crazy, bro. Where they were fighting and yeah. shit. And then they were making up. And it was what? crazy. That's that a good song. Crazy. Yeah, that song's crazy. And then she was in the windowsill, yeah, popping she, that she, thing. She was today a Shanti. <laughs> yeah, T- today a Shanti. Oh, that's a double entendre right there, boy. <laughs> she fully developed a Shanti. Uh, so and then it's around and then. Yeah. Cool. a Shanti, a Shanti. Yeah, and then, so I was like, that boy did good. I do feel like he got some Drake. Oh, like I f- sometimes I feel like he copies Drake's cadence when he's rapping. 
I feel like I feel like uh, he's heavily influenced by Eminem. Maybe that. But Maybe that's why I think I it's sound like a song, or, No, I don't know exactly which one it is, but one of them. It might be the first song when it first started. I was like, "Damn, is this featuring Drake?" And I looked, and I was like, "No, it's this nigga." Oh, I think I know what you're talking you know about. What I'm saying? But he got like that Drake cadence. It was just, I can't copy it because I'm not a fucking rapper. But it's singing. Go listen to it. I'll check it but out. But it sounds good though. Yeah, yeah I mean. Bad. The music uh, was good. He had good samples on here. He had a change. Oh, the, the, the uh, change. Uh, which yeah. one was that? He had like two two songs on there, though. Be listening. <laughs> it was like two songs he on that one with, with the escape on there. I, the other sample was, I think it, it might be really number two. Too. No, it was another R&B joint. It, it was really good, too, though. But like the samples were good. The, DM, the, the DMX track was classic. The Twister track, I didn't already covered it, but... That was far. That one was hard. I even like Logic. See, I'm, I'm Logic. Never, y'all talk about Logic, but I was never like, oh, Logic. Logic but he was damn small, good. Logic, Logic but it just felt like Logic, Logic had a, it was a small part. He, he was there, but he wasn't there like a, a for a while. Like his verse, his verse feels short to me. You just got to know your role, man. He's like, okay, this is your song, and then we got yeah, Twister. That's true. I'm just going to get here and do a let's little, let's uh, let's 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 let Twister know? get his, I thought, his, was, I thought Twister came fire, especially. Doing we ain't heard him in a long time. That, I still listen to Overnight Celebrities and shit, though. So, That's you know what I'm classic. And, uh, what Slow Jams. Make a movie. Uh, make a movie with Chris Brown. I listen to that a lot. Oh, yeah, Make a Movie. Yep, yep. Yeah, so I listen he to had, I like had, Twister. I like Twister and Do or Die. Like, those were... I told y'all this when we were doing... Because you're really a Chicago nigga with a Baltimore accent. Nah. That might <laughs> do. <laughs> yeah. Well, I told y'all when we were doing the... Uh, when we were doing our list that I think that... And I had Pope Pimp on my list. And I said that Twister... I think... Twister's verse on Pope Pimp is like top five ever. Yeah, I remember yeah. you trying to rap that verse. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, so when and you never him, knew that he just came from the car wash or whatever. That's crazy. Like, I just imagine they got water away. Like, hold on, Bob, I'll be right back. Then he said in the song, he said, uh, what did he say? Like, I was riding around in a car and I heard it come on or something like that. Yeah. I wonder how that feels, nigga. Like, fire. <laughs> Well, you, I mean, you got to wait to see, like, if it come on, they like, yo, this shit nice. And then your verse come on, they like, it, nigga, that you? <laughs> yeah, he like, Pope Pimp was like the biggest song of that summer. For sure. It was Pope Pimp and uh, Smoking on Hay. Those two songs. Smoking on Hay. Like, that, that, that song. Yeah, that was a hit. Crucial Conflict. That was a hit. Oh, oh man. <laughs> I just had a random thought. We talk about people that just disappeared. Yeah. It was like Crime Mob. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> Technically, the Fugees. That one album. I don't know if we're going to do say, that. I that album. Say, I hate to say That's it. That's a Mount Rushmore album. You can't just do that. The score? The score? I thought it was damn good. Like, the score was fire. I don't want to get sidetracked, but. <laughs> and uh, 17, fire. Oh, the Mac Miller man. flip. The Mac Miller, bro. I, when I first heard it, I'm like. I know this nigga ain't. Then <laughs> <laughs> he go race the piece of Mac and it come out. Killed it. My boy. That's my shit right there. That's my favorite Mac Miller song too. So really? that was hard. Donald Trump. Yeah, Donald Trump. Yeah. yeah so um, I, I do want to say Jordan Lucas is a master storyteller. Cause like, I, was, I like that about him. He 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 uh he has another song. Like I got introduced with him, it was like a it was like a video about racism. So he's rapping and he's he's telling from both story points, but it's like a white dude on this side of the table, it's him on the other side of the table, and they just talking their shit out. That's what I'm about to say. I think I don't know if it's storytelling, but it's like giving you views of what he's rapping about. You can ima- you can see what he's talking about. It's giving you views of uh, what he's rapping about, and you can you can you un- you can place yourself in it. Yeah, if you get what I'm saying. Like, yeah, on something like that, it was like, well, yeah, I know what it's like to be on this side. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, or like on Broski. Broski. Oh, like, Broski. You feel that. You were like, damn, I know where the hell He like, why don't you, you let me know, hold something? You know it ain't got to be much. It's a hundred, couple hundred thousand. Nah, I don't. But <laughs> I don't think I do anyway. But I still like, you, like the, when you hear this, him rap it out, and you, you've heard that story millions of times. Like, yeah. A nigga got on, and then you get back to the hood, and now we da 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 But I ain't asking you for shit, but we... But that's how Just throw me something. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So like, At least they think it's... If you least, can't, that's cool, but that's fucked up, though, too. Like... The song is like that's like a like with the beat with the like the guitar bass coming in when the nigga mad and shit. It's like it's, yeah, it's and and I can only and I can only I can, <laughs> and, and the video is like 
etched in my brain where I don't right. even hear, I don't even see Jordan fucking Lucas Dre. Rapping. I see, I, I see Dre going Dre, crazy. You know what I'm saying? Slime ass nigga. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, nah, man, I thought this was fire, man. Job well done. Eight and a half. Really, probably a nine. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm sitting here I'm thinking, like, like, man, hold on, man. Dude, like, like for real, bro. Like, I mean, it ain't nothing I mean, wrong with this shit, I bro. Didn't, I didn't. I liked every song, honestly. The music was musicing. The the lyrics was lyricing. Good. Every he rap cool. He rap good. Not cool. He rap good. Yeah, I'm gonna give him a nine. I'm gonna go eight point five pending. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go nine. All right, Chris. I thought it was five. At least you gave me the point five. Good job. I was always at a point five. But I'm gonna do pending because I mean I only listened to it like twice and I thought it was. Like well, I, I didn't. Said it was I, good. I didn't have a problem listening to it. And see the thing, the thing I did was you know not, I told y'all seven songs had been released. I was, I was listening to them seven songs beforehand. So when the album came out, I only had the other ten to listen to. So I was running through it kind of quick. But but it's just. Even the seven, we only had the seven. I'm like, it's just, just if you got seven of this, it's just gonna be good. You know what I'm saying? So when everything came out, that nigga did that shit. I don't just throw my nines and tens around. That nigga did that nigga. shit. Nah, to, for the um, sample on number two alone, bro. Is that the one with the escape sample y'all talking about? Nah, it's another sample, but it's it like a pop sick. song sample. Hold on. Oh, yeah. I was like, I thought it was Paul Abdul. I was like, nigga, please don't. I don't know who that is, but I thought it was Paul Abdul. Yeah. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do, but that shit hard, man. Wait, we can't play the music if we're reviewing it? No. Nah. What? Oh, we was copyright kings for a minute because I was just like, I got to let the people hear the music. <laughs> we gonna do this shit on Patreon though, cause you ain't gonna take the music out on Patreon. Yeah, I thought that mother was fire, man. Good job, bro. It haven't been an album where I thought it was like fire. Like a oh, rap fire. album that haven't felt like this. Uh, the last one was Odyssey, but I thought it was Odyssey. Nah. Was Nick, I thought Nick Bucks was good. Who else we do? Did we give it eights and nines though? I think I was up there. Mm. I don't think I ever listened to that album. That might have been one of them. One of the ones you mean? Nick Bucks was good. It was really good. We just did somebody. Who else did we just do? Who's the last couple we did? I feel like I was pretty hard on one of the last albums we did. Uh, I want to say after we pod. I want to say Benny was one of them. Benny was good. I don't know how high we were on Benny. Benny was good. Pillow talking slander. It's on the playlist. Great song. And so we did Lil Russell, Kanye, and Ty Dollar. We did Usher, Benny. Oh yeah, maybe I'm wrong then. Twenty One Savage. I know about Twenty One or Kid Cudi. Let's see. Scary Hours 3 with Drake. Mm-mm. Uh, Chris Brown and Andre 3000. Rick Ross. The Whistle album? <laughs> yeah. 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 Flute, but... Yeah. Niggas, I like to just go out behind a laundry mat. And... <laughs> I ain't gonna say it. Like, you on, you on some bullshit, Drake. <laughs> yeah. You on some bullshit, Drake. Jordan Lucas, man, great, great project. I've been a fan of yours for a while. It's early, but Great you know, album of the year so far for rap album. Great project, incredible project. Musically, those beats was those beats was beat. I'd have to say that. Great features, man. Great. Let me features. see how many albums he has. I don't know if I. I remember the ADHD one. I think Eminem. Was Evolution was twenty twenty. I think that's the one. That uh, to. I think ADHD is the one had. A phone number was 2017-508-507-2209. I bet motherfuckers caught that number, too. Was that the number Mike Jones gave out? Mike Jones, what happened to him? He got a nice cup of coffee. A nice cup of coffee? <laughs> <laughs> he got the free donut with the big Q. <laughs> he got a nice cup of coffee, bro. Zero. Yeah. Damn. You remember that candy bar, Zero. Uh, I remember what you call it. Mm-hmm. They still make those, do they? Haven't seen one in years. They be at Seven Eleven. Oh, yeah, I don't really frequent Seven Eleven that much. I was going when I was with the seal. Okay. We they still there. make Star Kiss. Star Kiss. The fr- the little snack cakes. Yeah. Come in a box, a little black box, rice and chocolate. Oh yeah. Nice gooey Star center. Crunch. Star Crunch. Yeah. This nigga put. <laughs> the, the the candy and the drink together. <laughs> Ain't so long. <laughs> we got watermelon lemonade now. Fire. 
Really? Wow. Okay. All right. We're uh, talking some bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> hey, peace and love. Niggas is tired and hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.